Severe weather goes hand in hand with spring here in North Carolina. Last year at this time, we were dealing with the aftermath of a tornado that swept through Guilford and Rockingham counties. That twister damaged homes, businesses and schools, and the recovery is continuing. Our Mallory Lane joins us live in Greensboro with more on how the superintendent of Guilford County Schools is reflecting on the past year. Good afternoon to you, Mallory. What can you tell us? Good afternoon, Margaret. There is certainly a lot to reflect on, specifically when we're talking about what is next for these schools. Now, there has been some questions surrounding Hampton Elementary School, whether or not the district will close it. Dr. Contreras today not necessarily confirming that information. She would only say she will be making a recommendation to the board about its status on Wednesday. Now, in terms of the other two schools, Peeler and Irwin Montessori, Contreras says their statuses have not changed. Peeler students will remain at Blueford, Irwin Montessori students at Alamance Elementary. Now talking about the past year in general, Dr. Contreras says the process to move forward has been difficult. We're in a position where we know the community believes we can rebuild all three schools um, and we're just not in that position because the schools were in disrepair in the first place. Now, Contreras says she hopes that a bond referendum will be presented to voters in the near future that will help uh, to vote on facility upgrades as well as new facilities. Be sure to watch WXII 12 News tonight at 7. We'll be airing a special about the one year anniversary of this tornado. We will go in depth then about the damage to these schools. For now, reporting live in Greensboro, Mallory Lane, WXII 12 News.